Well, it is the Super Bowl of electronics. From the kitchen to the garage, the Consumer Electronics Show features the latest and greatest tech toys. The show wraps up today in Las Vegas, but joining us this morning to talk about some of the new gadgets is Ian Marlowe, CEO of the tech company Fitech. Welcome. Good morning, thanks. So for being here, yes, of course, absolutely. is what you were going to say. <laughs> Sorry to cut you off. So this show you were just saying is like two and a half million square feet of just electronics. It's the largest show. It's the largest show that's out there. It's just massive. It's massive and it's exciting for people to see the startups that are there and the established companies. So you get to see the things out of the garage mm -hmm. all the way to the established companies. So we brought, you have a few items here. We're going to talk about a few different things. Yep. But there are going to be some updates coming this year. There are. Yeah, there are. so we, let's start with the Fitbit here. With the Fitbit, you know, this is, uh, you know, it really has hit the fitness industry really, really well. Mm -hmm. And they've gone out and really challenged things. This is the current model that's out, the new model, the Blaze, that's really hitting right now. That's going to change things again. It's going to bring these actually now connected from you to your phone. Now it's going to go from the phone to your blaze so now you're gonna see your text message you're gonna see your email come through now you're actually gonna have that right on your arm wow. and that's a big game changer it's the first time it's also a color display on a Fitbit okay so that's what's coming what's next that you have here well we've got the Apple watch and mm -hmm. you know really the next big thing that the rumors are out you know Apple's always closed mouth but the rumors are we're gonna do see FaceTime and we're gonna see a lot more biometrics on the device that'll actually challenge some things on the Fitbit on the okay and then talk about this yeah uh, so this here. is Last this is tablet. the yoga uh, uh, great, great product from Lenovo. The new version coming out is going to be the world's thinnest laptop. So the it's world's gonna, thinnest laptop. Yep, it's going to okay. be less than 12 mil, uh, about 12 millimeters thick, under two pounds, but the same power that we saw last year. Okay. So pretty amazing. That's crazy. All right, let's talk about uh, a rollable television. Well, this is yeah, this is actually out now from uh, from LG, and what we're really seeing is the ability to uh, take a television one day, roll it up put it away in your cupboard and say, I don't need to have it out with me. The one that's out right now, it's total uh, evaluation. It's not hitting the market. It's about 18 inches, but they could see the technology go out to about 50 inches. And where, so you said it, it is It is out at now? Or it's, it's not out now. It's, it's, not it's, out it's now. experimental. The, okay. uh, you can see here they're using gloves on it simply because the material's not strong enough yet. Right. But you can really see where the technology is going. Okay. This is not foldable. There's another version coming out <laughs> that's foldable. That's incredible to think about. Yeah, it, it really is putting your TV away in a closet. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the smart refrigerator. So this is out from Samsung. I mean, very exciting. It's an uh, interesting concept. This has cameras in it, and when you're going shopping, if you forgot, how much milk do I have? Is the sour cream sour? It's going to give you photos on your smartphone every single time you close that door, and now you're going to see what's in your fridge. If mm. that sour cream is expired, it's going to tell you, and you're going to know when you're shopping. This really is like the Jetsons. Okay, <laughs> the human carrying drone we have to talk about. This is very interesting. They call it the 184 drone. That's for one person. It's got eight blades and four arms. You don't have to actually have a license to fly it, but it is going to have to get approved by the FAA. So this is very interesting. This will be one day you'll be able to get in it, pick on your nav screen where you're going to go. It'll vertically take you off, bring you where you want to go, and set you down. The current version only goes about 10 miles with about a 25 minute runtime, fully electric. This is, and this is into the future. This is in the that, future, yeah. they're testing it now. Okay. And actually the, uh, the, uh, the creators have been testing it. We don't see any video of people in it yet, mm -hmm. uh, but they're just showing where that technology can go. All right, so much to talk about. We're out of time. Thank you for being here. We really appreciate it's it. My pleasure. Crazy to see all these electronics and what we will see coming up in the future. We appreciate it. And we'll be right back, stay with us.